Okay, we're gonna talk about creating your own light box. It's pretty simple, there's a lot of different ways. So I have tissue paper, some foam board here, and then just poster board. I have white and black. Uh, then I'm gonna have some white duct tape and a razor blade. So here I'm just applying some tape uh, to one side of the poster board, flip it over, I'm gonna leave a gap, attach the other poster board. I'm doing this so that I can fold it and put it away. You can do this um, with just a cardboard box. Um, if that's what you're gonna do, just kind of skip these steps until a little later. And here I'm just leaving a, a little larger gap between the two boards so that it's easier to fold all the way flat. Uh, and then I'm just kind of folding it up, creasing that tape so I know about how wide to leave it. Seal it back up on that side with tape. Now you can see it folded. Now I'm gonna do the top. So again, it's just a piece of tape, sticking it to that. Then I'm gonna put tape across that the inside seam just to hold it together, but it still allows it to fold. If you want it to fold, you need to make sure to leave a gap between the boards. So here's the bottom, it's just a little long, so I'm just trimming it, I'm just using my X-Acto knife, cutting it off. Then I'm gonna use those pieces to create little flaps on the side to help block light um, from the lamps coming into my camera. You don't have to do that, that's just an extra step I did. Now I'm putting a slit near the top on the back board where I'm gonna actually run the poster board through. Uh, there's many different ways to get the poster board in. This is just one way I thought it would be really simple and easy. You can see there I taped the two poster boards together so it's long enough. Now I'm gonna be cutting the holes on the sides and top of the poster boards to put the diffusing paper or just tissue paper. So I'm just marking around so I have a line to follow to cut. Um, I really didn't try to make sure my line stayed perfectly straight because it really doesn't matter. I'm really just creating a hole. So I kind of drew the lines in there roughly and then I'm just cutting them out. And then there's the tissue paper. It's just regular tissue paper from the dollar store. In fact, I got all of this from the Dollar Tree in Rigby uh, for like six bucks total. So I'm just kind of marking that tissue paper um, so I know how big to really cut it. Um, instead of using a ruler, I just decided to trace the paper. So now I'm just cutting it out. And then I'm putting the paper on and you'll end up taping it. Another way to do it is just take that inside off your first piece you cut and just trace it onto the other side of the board. Um, if you don't want to measure or trace the paper. And then you just cut it out. So basically you're going to have three holes. Each side and the top is going to have a hole. And then you take the tissue paper, you lay it on there, and I'm just using scotch tape at this point. Uh, laying some scotch tape on there, trying to pull that tissue paper tight so it doesn't have as many creases or folds into it. And that's kind of what it looks like at this point. Um, it really is a pretty simple process though. Um, all you really need to do is create some kind of box, put tissue paper in holes so the light can shine through it.